Right. Time to give me the headlines presented by Hyundai. Got three more games left. We'll start with the Titans shutout of the Jags, twenty to nothing. Your headline in this game is Urban Retreat. Oh, Ooh. they're leaving the city of Jackson. He may be leaving the city of Jacksonville. <laughs> yes, he might be. You're right. I, I don't know where that's going to go. I, I, mean, I think I know. You I, think? I how can they? recover from I this. think most people in the NFL in the know in league circles tend to have your thought you know again I don't think they know but they tend to think that this is going to be a one and done thing with Urban Meyer it's been ugly you know the reports you heard over the weekend right about you know the way he talks to coaches and their leaks and whatever else I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was saying these things in week three of the NFL season now, this is this has been going on all year long and yeah like, you want to say to Urban Meyer, yeah, you're, people are going to leak things when you treat them like shit always. When you call them losers, they may tell people that you're in calling them losers. In front of the losers. team, in front of the coaching staff. I've heard these stories from early on in the year. That's what he does. He t- talks to coaches, I don't know why I hired you. You're a loser. You're not good. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, that's just not the way the NFL works. Nor is it going to help the rest of your football team when they see your head coach demeaning their position coach. They're all going to look at the head coach and go, man, he's an asshole for doing that. And then they're also going to question the coach now who he just called a loser. And they go, oh, is he a loser? I don't know. It just it does no, it serves no, no positive you know, uh, reinforcement for your football team there. But ugly game. Titans played D. They didn't take many chances on the offensive side of the ball. I don't think they really care. To me, the Titans are like the Patriots. They're just going to do what they have to do to win the football game. They don't care if it's 12 to 10 or 20 to nothing or whatever. Uh, I still think the Titans are one of the best teams in the AFC. I'm not giving up on that. And, yeah, they gave Trevor Lawrence and company some issues. Trevor Lawrence threw the four interceptions. He could have thrown seven or eight yesterday. He had a bunch of others that just went off the chest of uh, Titans football players. More worried about Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson? You know, I'm not worried about either one. I'm really not. Um, They both both miss throws. They should not. And they're both like mechanical issues that are very easy to fix. So I don't look at it and go, oh, wow, like they're, there's something there that I don't like about their throwing. Um, and, you know, they're, they're, they're both in offenses that are not exactly talent all over the field. They're young. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I got no concerns with Trevor Lawrence. Okay. I really don't. But they were overmatched. You say Tennessee – Offensive line legit, defensive line phenomenal, secondary very good too. You know, I, I'm I'm like I said a believer in the the Tennessee Titans. We were at one point a believer in the Carolina Panthers, at least that defense, uh, but that has changed now. The Falcons beat the Panthers 29-21. Your headline on this game is no Cam do. Oh yeah, no Cam do. I, I mean, well. Panthers' mistakes were huge. I don't know what else to say. And they were both Cam mistakes. You know, I I, I know, um, you know, the uh, uh, the other quarterback that came in. The P.J. Na- Walker. P.J. Comes Walker, in. thank you. He threw a stupid interception, which I don't even know why he was in the game at the end of the half. It's like so, they put uh, him in to run the two-minute two, point, the two I, minute drill. I, it might be that. It might be that. I think there's, there's some word out of Carolina that – Maybe Cam hasn't picked up the whole playbook, especially the two-minute part of it. Right. So it's like, yeah, he they benched him at the end of the first half. Cam started the second half, but then they did go back to P.J. Walker in the second half. Yeah, man. they went back Yeah, later in the in the second half. I know. Well, I mean, hey, 7-7. Carolina had a great first drive, few screens. Cam made a throw or two. They had some quarterback design runs. They go down, score a touchdown. Things look good. You know, I think – you know, I think Atlanta got the ball. They punted back to Panthers. The Panthers punt the ball back to Atlanta. Atlanta goes down and scores. You got a 7-7 football game. And then there was Carolina driving down the football field again. And he throws, Cam throws the ball over the middle, gets interception, pick six. And that really changed the flow of the game altogether. I mean, it certainly put Atlanta in a power spot there. And they ended up ultimately going up 17-7 at a half. But then they fight back. Their defense keeps them in it. Carolina's defense is still, like, legit. And he has the tripped fumble yeah, trying to hand trying, the ball trying off. Trying to do too much, trying to save the play yeah. and ends up turning it over. And that, that that changed it all. It really did. Listen, I don't know how Atlanta keeps winning these games. <laughs> I really don't. They're, it's like they're in the playoff. They're, they're gritty six and, seven. and gutsy. Right. They're six and seven right now. Washington, in, like we said, in the playoffs at six and seven. So they're in the playoff picture, but I feel like no one really wants Atlanta to be in the playoffs. I don't. Even, even their fans are just like, you know what, no. 
We, we don't want this. I, I respect this it. They're well coached on both sides of the ball. Matt Ryan is still really good, and you can't get him off the field on third downs. I mean, to me, that's the thing he does where, yeah, it was, you know, 29 points yesterday, and one of them was a defensive touchdown. But the one thing he will do is he possesses the, he, he possesses the ball on that side of the ball because he's still a great decision maker. He's still a great thrower of the ball. And his movement in the pocket is always underrated to where third down, it's third and nine, and you think they got him, and he kind of moves around in the pocket and hits an in-cut for 15 yards. He is the king of that. Um, but, yeah, good for them for winning the football game where I don't even know if they're more talented than Carolina. I just think they got good coaches and they got the better quarterback on the football field, and that led to the eight-point victory. Yeah, Atlanta's a game ahead of Seattle, who's not out of it yet. Seattle gets a win, their fifth win this year, beating the Texans 33-13. to Your headline on this game is... Penny Lockett. Penny Lockett. Is that a real thing? Have we figured that out? We don't know. It's oh, a wait. Penny. Oh, Hold on. We have see? a picture of I knew it. it was. I knew it was. A so, Penny Lockett. So Pete comes in today before you got in because, Chris, you know, to let you behind the curtain. Uh, a I'm always late on late. Mondays. A few minutes late I'm on I'm always Monday. late. Uh, and Pete goes, I thought of a headline, maybe Penny Lockett. He goes, but I don't know if that's a real thing. You come in, you know, 30 to 45 minutes later, and you, maybe it was an hour and a half later. <laughs> and you go, you go, hey, I think we should do a headline Penny Lockett. And he goes, is that a thing? And you go, I don't know, but it sounds like it I should think be. it is. I feel like I've seen it, it before is. where like, we people have a lucky penny. penny yeah, or we right? just saw they, it. There it is. There it is. So that, Bam. That's it. So it was. It was it was Penny and it was Lock Tyler it. Lockett. <laughs> uh, so it, they both went off, and it was good to see. Penny. I know you have been a longtime supporter of I, Rashad I, Penny. I do like his talent. He's just been hurt. Yeah, was not hurt in this game. Went off, and they got the win. Yeah, good, good for him. I mean, you know, and and hopefully he could stay healthy. You could see his talent. He's got size and explosive ability. You know, two long touchdown runs in the football game. Hey, that Seattle offense. It's still not pretty to watch. We know that. You know, this game early on, both quarterbacks played really well. Davis Mills, I think, what did you say he was? 14 for 14 to start last yeah, night, right? Yep. You know, they kind of moved the ball, did some positive things there. But, you know, ultimately, there's just not enough talent on the on the Texans yet. There's really not. And Russell Wilson and company and just their, their stubbornness to not go away, uh, they finally got it going, and he started making some big plays in the past game. But, yeah, it was all the Lockett and Rashad Penny show. Mm -hmm. They made all the big plays for that, that uh, Seahawks offense. If they win out, they're a playoff team. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. But let's say, yeah, what, with their, their schedule went out. Let's let's just give it a quick look we, here. I think we looked think at it we last week and we were week. like, probably not going to happen. But yeah. hey. Rams, Bears, okay. Lions, Cardinals. Well, no. They could get lucky to where the Cardinals don't have to play anything in Week right. 18. So then all you got to do is beat the Rams. If you beat the Rams. Oh, my gosh. Right. They can still do it. That would be the upset. All right. In L.A., I don't like their chances, but no. I'm never going to count Seattle out. Seattle's like Baltimore. It's just they're always going to fight and play with incredible intensity, and they're battle-tested, and they understand, for the most part, kind of how to manage a game that way, and that's why they're, they're a hard out always. And that was Give Me the Headlines presented by Hyundai. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.